On November 22, 1963, President John F. Kennedy, First Lady Jacqueline Kennedy, Texas Governor John Connolly and his wife Nellie were traveling in a motorcade through Dallas, Texas on the way to the city's trademark when Kennedy was shot and killed by lone gunman Lee Harvey Oswald as the vehicle passed through Dealey Plaza. Oswald, positioned on the sixth floor of the Texas School Book Depository, had a clear view of Kennedy as the motorcade passed down Houston Street, but opted not to shoot. Instead, waiting until the vehicle turned onto Elm Street, where the view was partially obscured by trees. According to the Warren Commission, Oswald fired three shots using a 6.5 mm Manlicher Carcano rifle, the first of which ricocheted off a tree before ending up near the railway bridge where it struck a bystander. The second and third shots hit the president, the third shot being the fatal one. According to analysis of footage available, Oswald fired the three shots within 8.4 seconds. The second shot entered Kennedy's back, exiting through his throat. It then passed through Governor Connolly's right shoulder and chest before hitting his right wrist and lodging in his left leg. The third and fatal shot hit Kennedy in the head, causing the right front of his head to explode. Footage of the assassination was captured by Dallas dressmaker Abraham Zapruder, who was filming the motorcade from the grassy knoll. Several witnesses present reported seeing a puff of smoke from near a white picket fence next to where Zapruder was filming, leading to theories of a second gunman and a fourth shot.